welcome to the NBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Omar Sanzo, and joining me today is Jakob. Hello again. Hey there, man. How are you doing? All right. So, um, this is the final issue for Spirit Forest. That, that's going to be something. <clears throat> so... Anywho, uh, in today's episode review, we are going to review Spirit of the Forest. Sorry, uh, My Little Pony, Spirit of the Forest issue number three, the final uh, issue for the series. So in this issue, the Kiruma Crusader sneak out the Spirit of the Forest in a last ditch attempt to save the white, sorry, to save white tail woods from filthy rich lumber mill. So... Uh, First impressions are, you know, there. and what do you think about it, man? It's really short. Like, it just goes by so fast compared yeah, to that the is last true. two issues. That is true. But um, funny enough, uh, the page size is still the same. Yeah. I don't know, man, because there's so, there's so little happening. I don't know. Probably, probably. Like, it page count word text I mean it, it feels like they didn't chip out on anything yeah. like there's there, there's a ample amount of text there's the right like everything seems to be in proper order like there's no two page spread of some action scene and whatnot so yeah um, feels like I, I don't know why but I kind of agree with you in terms of why it feels very fast <clears throat> but as for me, I feel like, yeah, I'm kind of a nice closer and kind of a unexpected way that they solve the problem. But anywho, if you guys at home have not read this issue yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. And we start off the comic with, well, uh, our heroes, the CMCs in the clubhouse, um being frustrated that they couldn't think of a plan to save Whitetail Woods. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the last time we saw them, they were at the lumber mill getting scolded by Filthy Rich. But anywho, uh, our heroes try and decide, like, okay, what can we do? Um, should we tie ourselves to the trees? No, that wouldn't work. How long we live there? Uh, and then, like, oh, uh, maybe we should... Um, keep cleaning the woods, but that still wouldn't solve the problem and so on. Mare Mare uh, couldn't help, the ponies of Ponyville wouldn't help because they need the lumber mill and so on, and the three of them are stressed out until they hear a knock on the door. And lo and behold, it is Diamond Tiara. Diamond Tiara pops in and asks um, if she could uh, help them or help her with the current situation and she explains to the girls that he she wants the lumber mill closed down because it is a special place for her uh, it holds a lot of special memories and whatnot and she wants to protect the woods <clears throat> so the cmc's agree in helping her and yeah uh, we, we get to see them hug and whatnot and this is pretty cute <clears throat> Yeah, I will agree on that. And that that last panel is downright adorable. Yeah, and, and, and her scruffy hair, like, oh, I, I don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> Old Diamond would just kill them. <laughs> but, anywho, uh, moving on, uh, we come up, sorry, uh, they try and ask Diamond Tiara if they have a plan or not, and they come out with a I don't know. This this kind of seems like a silly plan, but kind of a plan, I guess. Where um, Diamond Tierra retells a story about the spirit of the forest and whatnot, and Apple Bloom says, "What if? Sh- uh, what if it's real? What if the spirit of the forest is real, and we just need to look hard for the spirit?" And with that. The CMCs head out with backpacks at the ready and they are going camping. Diamond Tierra asks how they do that and we don't get an answer. But what we do get is a 
page where the CMCs are enjoying the white tail woods uh, look, while looking for the spirit. And yeah, uh, while looking at the spirit, they come to a... Well, actually, Diamond Tiara comes to a realization where... Uh, she, while saying that they wanted to protect the woods, they almost forget what they're protecting. And realizing something, she needs to look, f get someone to look at the woods and talk about it with her. Or, I mean, how I remember this? Uh, just grab someone to look at the woods with her. Yes. And with that, she heads off to her dad's lumber mill. And I'm guessing the CMCs here are just going to continue looking for the spirit. <laughs> and I'm going to pause here. So, Jacob, what do you think, man? Well, uh, I mean, uh, the, sh the shots of the the Q Marcus series and Dante are going about the woods, the scenery. Is, it's pretty nice. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's true. And it, sorry, yeah, uh, this is more on the, the part before that. Um, when the Q Marcus Sagers are back in their uh, house uh, and, and they're uh, discussing the options they have, and I'm wondering the part where uh, Apple Bloom says, Remember when we sold all those candy bars to buy water slides for the school? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember, was that ever in the show or was it in one of the other comics? I think it was that? not mentioned at all. This is one of those random situations where, okay, uh, that happened. Uh, okay. Because the only one that I could think of was the time from uh, 28 Pr and Frank Slater, but that was completely different. But uh, I, I think it was just a cutaway line just saying that, okay, uh, we... Well, ponies aren't really that charitable. Yeah. <laughs> and they say that they hardly got anything, so that means there's no water slide for the school. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that that sucks. Too bad. <laughs> anything else to add? Yeah. <laughs> Damage are making the puppy eyes. Please, <laughs> Daddy, can we go now? Oh, that one, yeah. So, um, continuing on that, uh, yeah, uh, like I mentioned before, Diamond Tiara heads to the lumber mill to meet up with her dad, Filthy Rich, and she asks her dad to come with her to go for go for walk in the woods. Uh, uh, Filthy says no, but like you mentioned before, with the puppy dog eyes, ah, uh, now is I I can say no. So Diamond brings him to. Uh, her great grandmother's old cabin in the woods, um, and here, Filthy reminisce about how much of good time they had with well memories are uh, romping, romping in the how how do I put this um uh, romping around here when I was a cult and so as well as her and so on and uh, Filthy here has a lot of. Uh, good memories of the place and so on. And here is where, uh, lack for a better word, Diamond Tiara is kind of manipulating her dad into not being a dick to the woods. <clears throat> so, saying things like, um, uh, she wonders if the spirit of her is real or not. And her father says, oh, of course not. It's just a old fable and whatnot. And Diamond Tiara here just says, okay, if it's not real, then it's up to us to take care of the woods. Then it's up to us to uh, make sure that nothing bad happens to it and so on. And with this, Filthy just agrees to it and is going to make an order of no lodging within 50 feet of Great Grandma's cabin. Yeah, that's going to help a lot. <laughs> yeah. And... Diamond here just says, nah, you're missing the point. Uh, the point is, we need to protect the whole woods. And with this, Filthy is just like, oh, the whole woods? Blah, 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 my ponies need my number and so on, blah, blah, blah. 
And Diamond here just says you can plant new trees and so on. I mean, she's being very sensible here. And after that, Filthy agrees with her that, yeah, um, what you're saying is correct. And he's going to change the business plan to something much more better. And with that, we cut away to the next day, I think, where uh, Filthy asks Princess Twilight to help with the planning and so on. And with that, we get to see um, the plan uh, where Twilight, Applejack and Fluttershy came up with where they can uh, cut down trees and replant new ones and kind of keep the uh, cycle of woods going. Uh, so there's no harm in the, what you call this, uh, environment and so on. And... Applejack, sorry, Big Mac here, uh, take a look see at the equipment and he has some ideas to improve on it and so on. And with that, we cut away to a montage where we see the ponies plant new trees, uh, better water filtering system, uh, signboards about planting in progress and logging, uh, log logging in progress, and everything seems to be going well. <clears throat> and that evening, we see that the uh, ponies are having a nice party at the old cabin. We see uh, Filthy Rich uh, making some carrots. Roast making some carrots. carrots. <laughs> Roasting <laughs> carrots, yes. Grilling carrots, yes, whatever it is. And yeah, uh, everything looks really good and... Uh, Filthy Rich thank everyone for, well, opening his eyes and so on and making them realize that, okay, yeah, uh, what I was doing was not really great, but in the end, uh, you guys opened my eyes and uh, because of that, I managed, you, you managed to save me from destroying the woods. So, yay. And with that, everybody kind of well, uh, rest and relax and have a good time. And finally, we get to see a shot of the spirit of the woods. Okay, wasn't what I was expecting. Well, it's not Meganium, that's true. <laughs> mm, true, true. And with that, comic ends. So, before... That was really cool. Yeah, I mean, honestly speaking... Yeah, after going through everything, I got no idea what to say. Like, it's the same page amount. Like, there's nothing changed. There, there, nothing has changed. It's just, I don't know. It's just really fast. And on record, it's just about, what, 18 plus minutes and so on? So, wow. Yeah. But yeah, um, so final thoughts. What do you think, man? Well, the way we see it, the main issue here was well, Sweetie Belle had the right idea. It's just that it was coming from the bottom up, not from the top down. So basically, this was basically Diamond TR's uh, time to shine because well, <laughs> she's on the same level as her dad. So she had to convince him to basically do what uh, Sweetie Belle uh, was thinking in the first place. Hmm. All right. All right. That is true. That's true. And yeah, I mean, Sweetie Belle has the right idea, but didn't have the influence to implement it. And you know, um, the way that it should be done it should be something like this. But anywho, um, as for me, um, yeah, this comic series was interesting. The story was f full of ups and downs. Uh, the first few issues had its really confusing message narrative with the plot change in the middle and so on. And yeah, um, it turned out well and the story was really good. 
And you know what? With the plan that Princess Celestia had uh, proposed to Filthy, it's kind of a interesting plan and yeah, uh, might not go as fast as possible, but it is better for the environment. And you know what? He could just sell the lumber at a higher price. Say that it's stupid rare. <laughs> yeah, that too, I suppose. Also, Princess yeah. Celestia? Sorry, uh, Twilight. <laughs> uh, but still, it, it all works. It all works. Yeah. There is just one little nitpick I'm gonna make. Uh, oh, what is it? Panel, uh, part that evening, and yet the <laughs> sun still high in the sky. Yeah, it, it's one of those evenings where um, it's the, the sun doesn't set yet. <laughs> <laughs> so last year, little fell asleep on the job. Uh, probably Luna. Oh, who knows? Uh, boys. But anywho, yeah. Um, this comic was fun. This comic was fun. Yeah, it was. So, anywho, yeah. That was stupid quick. Kind, kind of. Huh. Yeah, I mean, that was stupid quick. Uh, but anywho, uh, I, I, I better not force it. Like, uh, if it's ended, like, we should end things. And maybe we can... Find something next week to do, yeah? Yeah. Sure, we can. All right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, let's see. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at divisiongmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Um, Yako, where can the good people find you? Uh, you can find me on DeviantArt Divian and uh, Yakup on Twitter on Twitter page, uh, Tales of the Ashes, or if you're interested in reading uh, film fiction, you can find me under uh, JFT. All right, all right. Go check them out, guys. And <clears throat> also, please subscribe to Reels on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, stitch your radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on live.com Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank... <coughs> well, let's see. Um, you, Yako. Thank you so much. Lucky night. My stuff lag. And also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. Yay! Uh, this is interesting. I, 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 I finally see... The what you call this list is updated. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Yaka. And we'll guys see you next week with another fun episode review of the MBS show. See ya! Bye bye.